guys welcome back to my channel so it's been a while since I did like a beauty haul so I thought today would be a perfect day to do it so I have some things from Chanel I went to my local Chanel counter as well as Sephora so I shopped at those two places just got a couple of things I was actually looking for some new things. Let's start with the Chanel. Some new kind of releases from um, new spring summer collection from Chanel. But obviously they don't have everything. They had a few things and I need to repurchase the one thing anyway. But um, yeah, overall they didn't have a lot of stuff that I was hoping there was like this new highlighter. So I think I'll have to like kind of maybe order it online <laughs> but anyway let me show you the things that i've got so the first thing which i i actually want for i needed it is the mascara and i always tell you guys that i love chanel mascara chanel volume the volume de chanel that's what it's called this is my favorite favorite mascara i love this mascara and i have been using it for ages it's a plasticky kind of a brush but oh it's so good every single video that you see i always have this mascara on if you look at the description box and by the way the whole makeup everything i used is always linked in the description box so this is my favorite mascara i know it's bougie it's chanel it's not cheap at all but i don't know it just works you know i love chanel mascara what can i what can i say uh then obviously i look at some uh lipsticks they did have the new lipsticks the the new ref refillable i think that's called them so it's called rouge allure extract that's what's the this is the packaging of the lipstick and yes i went for a very bold color that actually the one i'm wearing maybe not matching my blouse by the way my blouse is old it's from j crew i think it's from last year so this is um this is this is one of those click kind of a click packages <laughs> that you just click the bottom and yeah i went for the bold, bold color i never really go for this kind of a bold reddish hot pink color but i did it that's what's on my lips today i think it's pretty nice it is pretty you know bold for me to be honest with you but i don't know let me know let me know what you think i just wanted to show you guys i have one of my old this is one of the old lipsticks uh that it comes in the same packages i just want you to see the difference do you see how thick this one is how big this one is and the one the newest ones are slightly thinner the tube is thinner and yeah when you take this one you know the bullet is as you can see the the difference look at the difference in bullets see this one is and this is Cecil by the way one of the best I'll link it down below this one as well one of the best Chanel lipsticks ever so you can tell the difference this one is a lot you know kind of smaller and uh, it, this one you can just buy a refill I don't think you can buy a refill for this one so yeah so i went for this lipstick and then also they have those new balms and i did purchase one of those balms before which i'll show you guys rouge coco balm and those are the ones that has like a little color in them and the one i purchased last time it was more like a kind of nudie um but this time i went for more bold color again uh it comes in the white uh, tube so this is how you kind of recognize which one is what and here is the color so it's very again kind of a hot pink and technically this is not a lipstick technically it is just like a balm with a little bit of the color it's really pretty and it just gives you a lot of like you know moisturization to your lips so if you have like a dry lips but you want to have a little bit of the color this is nice this is really nice but again it looks very scary it the the payoff is not as you know um big let's say the lipstick because you know it's more opaque those bums are more sheer but they do have a color you can definitely see the color so yeah so i've got this um this three things in there and then they gave me a bunch of um you know like the the mascara <laughs> and they gave me the mascara base you know and they what else did i got let me see i've got some two oh yeah the the i was asking actually if they have 
uh, you know, the Submolage line, they came up with this primer, which is like $270, which I'm so tempted to buy. I would like to buy it, but they didn't have it like a sample. So they just gave me some like a, you know, face moisturizer, which are always nice, you know, especially when you travel, you can use these. So yeah, so that's basically what I purchased at the Chanel. And then let's move on to Sephora purchases. I got a couple of things. The reason I went to Sephora is because I ran out of my favorite dry shampoo. I don't use anything else. This is this is literally the best. It cleans your scalp and it's just refreshing it. And especially, you know, I wash my hair every other day, so especially the second day. But I even put this on the first day, to be honest with you. And um, just to give a little bit, you know, it just gives you a little bit of volume. And I bought the big one. It comes in the smaller size and also you can buy a travel size, but I went for 355 mil. So this is the biggest mama. I, I'm literally holding it always in my, you know, bathroom. So you save a little bit more money when you buy a bigger one. Uh, and then I kind of browse around the store. I actually wanted to buy some, um, I think there was a Dior. I wanted to buy those Dior uh, kind of a lip oils, but they were like, completely sold out and I wanted to get another one of those hourglass um, I think it was called the Aurora the eyeshadows that comes in the little pots because I love them so much they were sold out or they just short on, on, on everything I don't know but <laughs> anyway um, I found this little guy this is the Smashbag it's called a halo it's a healthy glow all-in-one tinted moisturizer so i was like hmm, that's something new let me try it i obviously got it in the color fair and i did try it on the store just you know for just for the color i love the tube uh, if this is gonna be good i haven't tried yet to be honest so if this is gonna be great i think it's gonna be perfect for like travel let me put a little bit on my hand it's still sealed i'm gonna try it like over the weekend <laughs> and see how it how it goes you know to me the tinted moisturizers sometimes are a hit or miss and um this one seems to have a decent coverage i did try the ones from la mer and it was horrible on me because they had such a limited amount of the colors and even the one from um chanel those cc tinted moisturizer it was horrible but this one I know it's very light coverage you know i just thought it's gonna be great for summer you know so we'll see i have to play with this it's obviously color of my skin so <laughs> but you know when i have like a lighter day and see you know and over the summer i don't necessarily want to put a full face of makeup so i thought this is gonna be perfect yeah i don't really own a lot of tinted moisturizers because la mer and the, the chanel were such a fail i end up just giving it away and um, yeah, I, it, it seems like recently I haven't been really using any, but I thought, you know, I'll give a try for the summer. We can see what is this one's going to be about. And then I went to the um, Sephora, Sephora section of Sephora because I was also looking for um, eye pencil. And originally I wanted to buy uh, like a brown eye pencil from YSL because I thought this are, these are the best. And I just completely ran out of my because they're very nice and soft and obviously they didn't have it. They were sold out. I'll have to look it up online. But in the meantime, I went to the Sephora, Sephora section and I've purchased their, you know, their brand. Um, this is called the um, Ultimate Gel Eyeliner and it's supposed to be waterproof and obviously I've got it in this brownish color and it's actually really nice I put it on my lower lash today so I use it for yesterday and today and it's actually pretty nice it's one of those retractables which I'm not always a fan of because sometimes I feel like they just dry off very very quickly so we'll see how this one will hold but you know it wasn't super expensive but it's nice and soft I just cannot use anything that will just, you know, just, I don't want to drag my eyelids, you know, and my lash, bottom lash, you know, just kind of, you know, it's just annoying. So I like something that is kind of on the softer side so it can just glide very easily at the same time, you know, waterproof is just a bonus. And then I noticed they had a lot of like single eyeshadows and they had probably like 20 or 30 of them. 
and I decided to get two. Um, so the, what is it, glazed donut. I actually have it on my eyes today. These has such a nice sheen. They're super soft. They were, I think, $9 each. And this one is called, hold on the second one, To the Moon in Back. So let me just open this first. I'll swatch for you guys so you can see it. Uh, let me open them. The glazed donut has a little bit of the pink sheen. I don't know if you'll be able to tell on the camera. And To the Moon and Back is, is slightly more cooler if you can if you can see the difference it's i thought in the store i could actually tell more of a difference but they are very light both of them but they have incredible do you see the little sheen i mean they're incredible i'll swatch this one to the moon and back is actually softer um it has a little bit of the warm undertone so it's not very cool but this is to the moon and back and that's the donut glaze yeah, I think they are very, very nice. I, I, like I said, I play with them for a few days. I have it on my eyes. Pretty good. The, the packaging is very flimsy. So don't expect anything um, spectacular from the packaging. But the product itself, I thought it was pretty decent. So yeah, you know, just the new eyeshadows to play with. And then the last thing I've got is, I've noticed this little set of the what is it called the glow glow recipe company um they have a lot of products they they um um i think they're very known for their kind of a spray setting kind of a spray but this is like something that you can try so they have a couple of different let's see what's there let's just open it so i just thought it would be a nice idea to kind of try their product you know in the those deluxe samples so let's just open this up all right, so this is how it looks like. So you're getting quite a few products. So let's see, the first one is what? Plump Plump. Oh, this is a serum. So this is the serum. Is this a face serum? I didn't even know they have a serum. Yeah, look at this. So it comes with this little, that's gonna be very useless applicator, <laughs> but it is apparently a face serum. Deep hydration. So we'll see. So I've got this one and then dew drops. Watermelon glow, watermelon glow dew drops. Are you familiar with this product? <laughs> ah, so this one comes with the pump. So I assume this is gonna be kind of a glowy. Ooh, it feels nice. <laughs> yeah, it smells like a watermelon. Well, I'll definitely try it. We'll see. So this was in here. And then, by the way, this was $35. So I thought it was pretty good price, you know. And you get like a five deluxe size products, you know, to um, to sample. Uh, all right. So this one is a pore tight toner. I think this could be great for, for travel. Looks like I'll be going to Poland at the end of my beginning of June, you guys. So... My godson is getting married and he really wants me to, to come. So I, I feel like I just have to go. So yeah, I might be going. Um, all right, the next one is Watermelon Glow Lotion. So I assume this is like, yeah, this is like a moisturizer. So that's this one. Again, I think I'm gonna, I wanna try to relieve it. I might just keep it for travel. And then the last one, it came in this little jar and this is sleeping mask, eye sleeping mask. I really love Laneige sleeping masks. They have the one that you can even like put it on level, all over your face, which I'm like, Oh, I'm crazy about <laughs> those are such a good product. So anyway, yeah, so this is it. This is all I've got. Yeah, my back is empty. This is all I've got in Sephora. Sephora will be having uh, the VIB sale again. Yay, 20% for the Rouge starting on April 1st, ending on April 11th. 20% uh, for Rouge and 30% on the Sephora product. So any, for example, of those eyeshadows, I might get some more. Those are gonna be 30% off. So yeah, any of the Sephora brand products. So yeah, so I'll be definitely doing some more shopping in Sephora pretty soon. All right guys, so this is it for today. If you use any of those glow products, watermelon-y products, please let me know if you're a fan of those. 
uh, I'll be definitely trying everything. I'm excited. Uh, and I'll be definitely trying this um, tinted moisturizer. See if this is um, if this is going to be something that's going to work for me. And, you know, for lighter days in summer, I think it's going to be great. So anyway, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Obviously, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. And I'll talk to you soon.